in this video I'm going to share with you some photo tips, also some post tips and also some great ideas so you can get an amazing result in your photos. Being pregnant, it's such a blessing. So I always get very excited to photograph my clients through this journey. So through my experience, I collected these tips that I know they're gonna be so helpful for you. If you're excited to hear these tips, don't forget to hit the like button so I know I can make more videos like this. So now, let's start. Touch your belly pose. If there's any moment in time that you should be giving a lot of attention to your belly, it's now. And this pose, it's a classic, and it's a classic because it works. When you put your hands on your belly, you do a couple effects. And the first one, it's that you accentuate your curves. Let's say pinpoint these things that we are actually proud of and we wanna make them shine. If you put your hands on your belly, you give shape to whatever you're wearing. So it really shows that you're pregnant, that you're going through this moment. Also, this gesture, it is very common in moms, so it makes you look very maternal, very sweet. There are a lot of plus on this pose. So your first go-to pose should definitely be touching your belly. Give some space to your belly. This apply in different situations. The first one, you should be checking a little bit your background, so actually your belly have a, a clean space in the background and it's able to really show. Also, when you're taking photos with your partner or a friend or whatever the case is, if you have a little bit, you don't need to do it in every photo, but at least get one or two, that you have a little bit of a separation so the belly actually has their own space so you can really see the silhouette. Or also you can get very close to the person by kind of giving the back to the person so the belly is able to really show and shine. Frame it. This technique, we use it through photography and it's one of those things that it gives like a je ne sais quoi to your photos. We, we as photographers, we're trying to frame things because it, first you give a message and you pinpoint whatever you really want uh, the person to see but also it's aesthetically so attractive. So when you see it, you're like, I don't really know why I like this, but I love it. Include your kids. Most of the pregnancy photos that we see all the time, it's very common that it's just the woman and the belly. But even though those shots are definitely, definitely necessary, it's also amazing that if this is not your first kid, you have other kids, you can include them in the photo. It's always a great idea to make the whole family be part of this amazing moment. So taking a photo all together can be really, really good. I would suggest that it doesn't really need to be just you smiling in front of a camera, like, hey, this is my kids, have a belly, yeah, a lot of things going on. Not necessarily, but I will suggest you to open your mind and try to make it also more artistic. Don't be afraid to go straight to the details. And it could be just your belly and your kid hugging your belly. I think this is such a great shot. If you think, Having detailed shots, it's beautiful. Let me know in the comments. And by the way, if you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget, subscribe. I share photo tips every week. A great pose that it's maybe a little bit more editorial in a way, it's to pose like your back hurts a little bit. 
And what this does is that it shows again the beginning of your belly and it makes it look a little bit more focused even though that it's not necessarily the whole focus. So in this case, I'll show you an example so it's more clear. I feel like this pose is a little bit difficult to describe. <laughs> but it does make you look very stylish very vogue so maybe it's not this like very romantic concept but it's a little bit more fashionable so now here are some ideas that can also help you to get great photos a lot a lot of the success that you can have in your photos it's super related with the with the pre-production that you actually do, that you actually make in your photos. Because it, it gives you an idea, it's e super easy to shoot, you know a little bit more what to do. So here are a couple ideas that you can do. So here are some ideas. Play with the shadows. This is not normally the kind of idea that you might have of a photo because you really want your face to show but I feel like lighting can be so beautiful and it's like painted light and then I get super romantic <laughs> so you can actually play a, a little bit more with your shape so if you put yourself against the light you will generate a shadow and then we can really see the shape of your belly it can look so romantic it doesn't look cheesy it looks very artistic and if you add the touch of black and white, it could be beautiful. Don't feel that because you see all these very repetitive photos on the internet, you kind of need to be like, oh yeah, I can only wear, wear this color and this kind of clothes. Really find your own style. Uh, do you feel like you want to be kind of like a hippie mom or more like a modern mom or whatever the feel that you have in mind, embrace it. There's a lot of accessories that you can add very slightly, like one or two things to your photo that can really show your personal style and things that you actually enjoy. So don't forget to add that personal touch in your photos that really represent your own style. Show some skin. It's okay to show some skin. It really, again, depends on your style. Some, some people really like to show a lot of skin and they go all the way. But other people really prefer to keep it very conservative. But there's also a middle lane. So you can, just with little details that can give a lot of rhythm to your photo, like pulling a, a little bit your shirt down so it gives you kind of a curve that it makes you have some movement, also makes you look a little bit less swollen on your, on your face. So all these little details can really add a lot at the end of the photo. Start playing. There are also a very classic kind of photos that they definitely work and adding kids props can also help you find this more artistic um, to photograph your belly. So this idea I think is just amazing that it's you can just play with words and you can even write it on your belly or use props with letters that give a message that you are excited or you uh, the final name, you already decided the final name. I mean there's so many things, it really depends on what you like, but I think that using text in your photo can be very, 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 very cool. Flowers, bath. All these uh, elements are very, very trendy right now when it's related uh, to maternity photos. And I think uh, if you dare, if you're into this, it could be very artistic and very editorial look. Which one of these tips do you think have changed a little bit the way that you were thinking about maternity photos? If you have any other ideas, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you. I would really encourage you to go and check out the description box of this video because I'm gonna leave you some really cool information. So courses, some ideas, a lot of things that I share on my blog 
that of course is related with photography that can really, really change the way that you photograph. So don't forget to go to the description box and check it out. If you are not part of the family yet, it's the moment. It's the moment when you hear that button, subscribe, and you become part of the family. It will make me very, very happy, and you will get a lot, a lot of tips. So click that button and enjoy. Don't forget, you're beautiful and special. See you next week.